Something I wasn't taught growing up was just how far the U.S. was willing to go to silence calls for independence in Puerto Rico. And what happened more than 80 years ago today is probably the most brutal way in which they tried to do that. In the 1930s, the party that wanted independence from the U.S. was the Nationalist Party. And they had just put in prison the leader of that party, Pedro Albizu Campos, accusing him of calling for people to rebel against the government. Well, a group of nationalists were getting ready to protest that imprisonment. They also wanted to commemorate the abolition of slavery in Puerto Rico by having a march. It was supposed to be a peaceful march. And this was some 40 years after the U.S. made Puerto Rico its colony, but Puerto Ricans still didn't get to elect their own governor. It was a governor appointed by the U.S. Well, that governor ordered the insular police to stop that march by all means necessary. So the police started shooting and they killed 19 people, including a child. Two police officers were killed too. At the time, they said that the demonstrators fired first, but the federal government did an investigation and they found that the only person responsible for that massacre was the U.S. appointed governor but no one faced any consequences, no one was arrested. Here you can see the relatives of the people killed. You can see the wall behind them is full of bullet holes. And this is what one of the nationalists wrote with his own blood before he died. Long live the Republic, down with the killers.